What do we think of the uh, the outfit? Listen, just like straight away in here. What do we think of how Daniel is dressed? What is this? Leather? Brown leather, but not. I'm not a fan of the jacket, honestly. Oh, look, I can move his head. What do we think? Do we think yes? Do we think no? Yes? No. Not a fan of these jackets, right? Like, did you... Maybe he's going to leave the apartment and he'll get onto a motorbike and then I'll have to eat my words and say, Okay, you're a biker. Yeah, wear that jacket. But otherwise, what are we doing? Wait, what's A button? My old flashlight. Save me more than once in the great outdoors. These bring back really good memories. No, turn the light back on. He's got OCD. He has to do it a couple of times every time he gets in. Man, the toilet drain stinks, as usual. Daniel. Fix it. Sort it out. Get some Drano or something. My 80s vinyl collection. Maybe next month I'll be able to afford a shelf to put it on. Oh no. Daniel's me. Sophie, it's taken me... Oh, wait, what? Sophie, it's taken me years to put those pictures out again. Packed with random stuff. My apartment is too small. I love snooping around in people's houses in games. In games, I should. It's very important that you keep that last bit on that sentence. <laughs> What's your hobby, Morph? Just snooping around in people's houses. I never tear kind of thing, but I just love to have a look around. Get a feel from... Do you know what? If that was kind of something that you were into, like, just pretend you're buying a house. You could snoop around infinite amount of houses, couldn't you? Some people do that, don't they? In an afternoon, they just go and see, like, super rich houses and stuff. Uh, Sebastian Husher, the historical fiction author, sold four million copies of his last novel. Mm-hmm. Oh. I hope he doesn't call today. Come on, Etienne, it's Friday. Okay. Kind of a cool office. Am I a detective? I feel like I'm a detective with an office like that. A cabinet peeper? No, no, no. I would never. Hmm? Only in games. I plan to spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. Do you like jazz? Old oh, oh, come on, Daniel. Look at these pizza boxes, mate. Looks like it's been there for a year. Can we sit and watch TV? I can't wait to see the next X-Files episode. Love X-Files. Oh, by the way, on um, Epic, Control is free. I really recommend that game if people want to grab it whilst it's free. It's a good one. It's by the people who did Alan Wake and Max Payne, and it's very like playing through your own adventure of X-Files or Fringe. More like Fringe, but like similar. Um, a very, very cool game. Can I turn the record on? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did that already. Some leftover coffee. Not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. Daniel. Squeaky clean. Not really hungry. I didn't get any groceries this week. Okay. Where, what is, what does it want me to do? Can I go to bed? <laughs> the funny thing is, is I would actually play a game, like, one of my dream games would be just living a life. I love anything that's kind of life simmy, and even if something went really into, like, the monotony of just being someone and existing like sim style but like one character walking around and stuff oh crikey seriously i would i would play that oh hello daniel it's me again etienne hey we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here oh you're joking friday evening and there's an emergency this is serious business Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. 
He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office. Reminds me of when we played the medium. I loved that playthrough. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling the out accent? to the highest bidder. I think... I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks. It sounds like someone who's not English doing an English accent, right? Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. Though I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. Oh my god, who said he was divorced dad vibes? You absolutely, <laughs> like, just from his clothes alone. Wow. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husher, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. So we work for a publisher. Not Let's a detective cross our at fingers all. and hope he's home. It's very interesting thinking if the character dies, then it's dead, and then you play as someone else. I kind of... I'm not going to try and die, but I'd be interested to see how that handles it. Ups the stakes, doesn't it? Mm. That banger. Daniel, bye. Prelude. The Friday, like any other. Prelude? Prelude? A tricycle. I didn't know Husha had kids. If we go in the back, sneaky like. Why take the side door when I can take the main one? Okay. Because I'm a snooper, that's why. Hello? Is that music? I'd better take a look. Got a very big head, haven't you, Daniel? Very square. Light source. Each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press right trigger. Once it's on, you can choose the direction you want to point the light. To do so, use right stick. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and help you interact with objects that might not be in front of your character. Your light source will never run out. Thank you. I... Games where the, the light source runs out. Something a music box? Ugh. Such a pain. <laughs> The alarm seems disabled. Much better. Oh, much better. If it goes off, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, why was the door open? Travel guides. The clock marks 12. Guess it needs fixing. Or does it? Husher is in a lot of these framed pictures. The rest must be family. Paintings are depressing. Oh my god, look at the... Sir, can you... Oh, I have to actually look down. What are all, the... what are all these suitcases doing here? Let's see where this music's coming from. 
No, the music isn't coming from upstairs. Oh, okay. This record player looks vintage. Play the piano. What a beauty. It must sound like an angel. Sounds like it's coming from in here. in the left. I just did a loop, didn't I? <laughs> Episode 1. Daniel in the never-ending circle. Where does this go? You found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information. Examine the back. Uh, access your inventory at any time. Oh! Wait. I didn't know you were going to open it automatically. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favour of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items that we have purchased at the store. An ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship, astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Perhaps I should say, ear. Yeah. The melody, Sebastian, it's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I had never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score or the name of the composer have failed. I cannot for the life of me get the melody out of my head. Interesting. What the? Is it in that spooky, boarded-up door? door there? Hmm. Let's have a little look around. Radio has to be older than me. The rifles, are they real? Stuff lying all over the place reminds me of my college dorm. Guy likes to hunt. Sophie would have a fit if she saw this. Oh god, that's loud. Is ear piercingly loud. Dude, if the jump scares are that loud, I'm gonna actually pee myself. What the heck? I'd hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired, and I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. Ah, oh, would be awful. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me. Other times, a few yards away, it seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Lockdown be like? Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there. Just hallucinations, nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Torture. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Three days later... Unde. Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. 
We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. You oh. told me where to go, dude. Do you know where I am? I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave. Just to <laughs> Three see Three days know later. Me. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. Etienne What's lazy. the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. Oh, we got the house in the Sophie, outskirts maybe. of town, on Highway EB15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay, I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course, same to you. <laughs> rifles, I don't think we can even have rifles here. Maybe with a special license. I know shotguns are more common. If you have a license. Oh, am I choosing who I play? Ah, oh, cool. Whoa, there's more than those two even. What? Okay, so we have to pick. We have Sophie Van Denenenenend. 40. Light source. Candle. Life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. It was thanks to this resilience that she summoned the strength to put an end to her failing marriage with Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity that she has always longed for. Speed, strength, speed, stealth, strength, serenity. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. Laura, 13 months. Thank you so much for the resub. It's here too as well. You're a super sub. Sneakily watching at work because I miss the stream so much. We miss you as well. Thank you. We'll try and keep it down so they don't hear us in between the horror moments. Thank you very, very much for a tier two for 13. Put some love in the chat. Scented candles. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Okay. And we have Etienne, who's got a lighter. A confident, self-made man. A sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. In his role as a personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Oh, excuse me. Did not mean to do that. Although they love to complain about working together, they've grown quite fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. Writing down anything important is the secret to remembering Etienne. Okay. I'm already feeling like playing the ex-wife is the move, right? Let me actually just, because that was so loud, move this onto the other fader just in case stuff gets really loud. I can quickly turn it down. Sound settings. App volume. Song of horror. Game fader. Let's see if that works. I broke it. Oh no. It's okay. Alexander and his wife Masha, housekeepers. Oh, the housekeepers at the mansion, watching over the author's children in one of their many household duties. The Russian couple of Christian faith moved to Europe in the 80s in an attempt to flee from mysterious past Alexander really ever speaks about. This guy's got no serenity. Take a good swig from the flask to soothe your nerves when danger lurks. Uh, and Alina Ramos, 32, flashlight, a passionate hands-down type of learner, eager to get her hands dirty at work, happy and energetic. She's traveled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both, working as an electrical technician, part of a highly qualified tech support team repairing high-end home security systems. A walkie-talkie doesn't work very well, but it picks up weird interference. Who would you pick, guys? I'm thinking Sophie. I'm thinking we go straight in with the ex-wife. You know, the story is there, story-heavy. We might lose her, though, because it's the first person we're playing as. I wonder if there's more characters in this. What if I lose them all? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gotta be the ex-wife. Got the emotional investment. Makes a better story. Bum, 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 bum. Playing as someone that shares your name. Make it twice as scary. September 28th, 98. It's terrifying to think some of you might not have even been born. Was anyone not born or born in 1998? What is that? How long ago is that? 
It's like... Oh god, maths. Someone do it for me. Why would you take... Sorry, why would you take a candle? I just... <laughs> No, it doesn't make sense. Why would, like, just seeing her there carrying the candle in? Like, she should have picked it up when she got to the house and the lights are off. It doesn't make sense. She's, maybe she's just, you know, she's, uh... Doesn't believe in lighters or something, I don't know. 23 years. Oh, there you go. Wow, that is the door was a open. long time. Is there anybody home? A burglar alarm. How modern. A moat with crocodiles would be more fitting in this house. Judgmental. Books in the foyer. You won't find me complaining. What's the time on the clock now? Doesn't say. It's really dark in here and it's getting a little bit scary. Coat's hung up. Somebody must be home. Okay, I guess we'll head towards the... <laughs> Can we just go back to being Daniel in his apartment looking at pizza boxes? Thanks. I was watching a thing about how they actually made Resident Evil 8 less scary on purpose than 7. They thought they made 7 too scary. And they um, wanted more people to be able to play through it and it'd be a bit more mainstream. Because it definitely wasn't as scary as 7, 8. It was like more fun, like quite bombastic with its bosses and stuff, wasn't it? After that first half, it was like big boss, big boss, big boss. History magazines. A wilted plant. Why does it feel like... Like, what am I wearing? I mean, we judge Daniel. Let's judge Sophie. What do we think about Sophie's outfit? I feel like... I like. It feels like I'm just wearing the jacket. I must have... Like, is this a jacket? A dressing gown? There must be a skirt under here, right? can just sort of see the the bottom of it. I look like I just have a jacket and tights on. What was he in here? Is that window open? Mm -mm. The door is locked. I would fit under that table quite easily where I need of hiding. Okay. Weird, weird way to think. I can't see anything. It's covered in filth. <laughs> Old family photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven was very, very scary. Super scary. Oh, what's this? Uh -huh. Matches. Uh -huh. We should go upstairs. Didn't we get to go upstairs last time, did we? I should take a look on this floor first. Oh, okay. Do you know what? I like that. I don't mind that it has an artificial barrier there to be like, nah, you gotta look here first. Save me getting lost. Moving on. So we gotta find a key, I suppose. The table has been set for four, but they never appear to have eaten their meal. Hmm. Dishes and books in the same little cupboard. Odd way of arranging things. Porcelain fruit, candlesticks, an English tea set. All very old and dusty. Like that window's open, right? Just, you know, dropping wax everywhere. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much, Anonymous Cheerio, for the 101. I appreciate you. Piano. Huh. An upright piano. I played one just like it as a girl. Seeing so many bottles in one place reminds me of Daniel and Unpleasant Times. Also, is this really dark? Maybe I should put the gamma up a little bit. 
Like, is it super dark on your screens? Is there a gamma? It's because it seems quite dark. Sometimes stuff comes off a little darker. Due to the nature of Sonal Horror, high level of brightness can have a negative impact. Well, let's just see. See a little bit better. Is that too much? Is that too washed out? Need to find some things. Oh, look up. I've never understood why people have to murder defenseless animals for sport. Oh yeah, he said that she would have a fit if she was here, and now here she is. Oh wait, what does it say? Soot all over. Perhaps I can get it to light somehow. Uh, your matches. Use the matches. I need to get. I need something to get it lit, but I have. Wait, do we not? Can we not use the matches? X. Uh uh. Okay, it's not that. Huh. Novels written by Husher. I don't consider myself a fan, but his books are addictive. Searching around. There's uh, there's some horror thing coming to Netflix from R.L. Stein. What's it called? Uh, Fear Street, which looks like fun. Like three movies. It's like a thing in three parts. A world globe from the 18th century. Which could be fun. Which is the guy who wrote Goosebumps, isn't it? An Olivetti from the 1940s. Macabre tales, dictionaries, atlases. Wait, what did that say? I can hardly resist the temptation to take one of them. Thief! Japanese swords. A key. I see a key in a drawer, it's jammed. I've got to lubricate it somehow. All right. Find some lube. Mission one, find lube. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So you got matches, need lubricant. So we found the matches. On today's episode of Morph Gets Lost. Okay, have I been in every room? And then that leads back into there. What about these ones here? this guy. Ah, I bet there'll be some in here. There'll be like some oil or something. An old bicycle. What do we got? An old metal box. Fuses. Hmm, could be useful. Can I open this? I like it's like one of these where I look at that and then I'll achieve nothing this way, okay? I love mode cycles, but I never mustered the courage to drive one. Especially with Daniel telling me how dangerous they are. Oiler functions, shut down, left button, start, central button, emptying, right button. In case of a malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Okay. Here's the boiler. Alright. Is there no oil in here? I feel like maybe there's a way to open the toolbox. No, look at it. Make sure I'm pressing the right button. Is 
scented candles. Can't use it. Examine it. Rusty old metal box closed shut. Looks like it's got a screw on it, doesn't it? I need a tool. Hmm. Okay, try the other room. What else have we got in here? Mm -mm. Can't open it. Locked from the inside. What's this? Packed suitcases are everywhere. Tears in the Wind by Liam Edelman. A lovely melancholy and macabre touches. God, I've started to think the same way I talk to clients about works of art. Alright, try the store. Alright, medicine cabinet. Greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Anything else in here? Nothing. Where would lubricant be? I can't believe it wasn't in the thing. Can we go out? Can we be like, sorry, Daniel, we tried. Bye. <laughs> See ya. A newspaper. It's been through a storm. I can hardly read a word. It's a beautiful night out. Look at this. Look at that sky. Did you guys check out the eclipse? Did anyone see it? Did you put like some cardboard over your eyes or something? It looked pretty great from the pictures, didn't it? Huh. Daniel's car is here. He's either inside the house or that junker is finally broken down. Okay, can't go around the back then. I need to find something to use with the matches. Burn the books. Oh my god, that actually scared me. I thought something was gonna happen. Anonymous share, thank you for the 200 bits. That's <laughs> like, ah, oh, the scariest spell that could have popped up. Thank you. My dear eccentric husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back. I don't want them playing with it. Dusty note. Oh. Okay, so we know that key's there, but I need to find some loop. So I guess I just gotta search everything. Alright, back into here. Scared of a bear. Did I go in this room? I did. Creek? I like how it looks at everything in here. That box of cigarettes looks huge. Uh-uh. 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 side of the room. Uh -huh. Light it. Yeah, like, why can't I use the matches here? I need something to get it lit, so I need something to burn, I guess, and put into the fire. But what's it going to let me pick up? a poker or something. Hmm. Good music, good wine. Alright, I'm searched everywhere in here. What the heck am I missing? This is locked. Mm -mm. That's what we need the key for. Yeah, the paper outside. I suppose it's wet though. When I looked at the uh, Steam store for this, just to see in general what people kind of 
thought, an idea of if I was going to stream it, people said, don't be afraid to use a guide. Like, it's pretty... Obtuse. I was like, great. Me and that, me and those games get on well. So we'll see. I didn't think I would have to look quite this soon. I don't think I went in this door, did I? The kitchen. There's something on the counter. I missed a door. A drawing by Saul. A drawing done by. Hushes. What is that? Noise. Oh. Huh. Water came coming out from under the sink. There's a wire right there. This is The Sims. Who's going to fix the fridge? Vote now. Maybe, uh, don't step in that. <laughs> just the character just instantly. <laughs> yes. Bye. Ring, a metal ring. Yoink. Thief. Old cookbooks. Fresh fruit. Maybe I need a mop or something. Souvenirs and a list of errands. Am I going to burn the kid's picture? To make the fire. Is that what I'm doing? Wait, let me look at the... Still some coffee in the pot. Nice. Mm -mm. Doors locked. Because I think I took the picture off of the fridge. Oh, I bet there's some lube in here. Dog food. What's this? Oil! There we go. Got it. We can, like, combine something with the f Listening at doors. What was that noise? You better take a look before you go back out. Press your ear against a door. Walk up to it. When you see the listen icon, hold. While you're listening, pay attention to the sound coming from the other side. Great. What was that? scary. Seems like the coast is clear from now on. <laughs> Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! <clears throat> Thank you very much. I'm not sure I come in with a triple six. Someone dropping croissants on the other side. Get those back in the kitchen right now. Thank you. Get some spooks in the chat. You can listen to what's happening on the other side of unexamined doors. Sometimes you might have a chance to do it with other doors as well. Pay attention to icons when you're near one. Use your map and find your way around. It records every single place you've explored. Good. That's that's good. Maps help. I didn't hear anything in there. You just know we're gonna put our ear to it and it's gonna like bang really loudly at some point. Oh, I'd love a croissant. Butter and jam on a freshly ovened croissant. Wait, which room is the... Where I stick the lube? This other one, isn't it? Stab through the air, scream style. That's the locked door. I think it's on the other side of this room. Scream is such a great film. The first one. There we go. I think they're making another one, actually. Oil it.
never seen it. Do you not do uh, horror films? Slashes. Slashes are fun. Like they're not as jumpy. The phone. Should I answer? Should I answer? It's a choice. Uh. Yeah. Hello. Sorry, who is this? Sorry, wrong I can't number. I not understand you. We can't leave my room. What the? It sounded like a child. Is he in the house? The call came from inside the house. That's like classic slasher stuff. Wait. Those aren't my footsteps. And the controller is vibrating. Huh. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Locked shut. Okay, we'll use this key. Yeah. It fits the lock. Okay, now we're in here and the door is gone. What to do with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I got fuses, four fuses. <sighs> Scribbled piece of paper. I saw another door yesterday as I was walking by the dining room. I suddenly heard the music from Daddy's music box. That's where Daddy went. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, but when we came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was an old door here, different from the rest. It even had a key in the keyhole. If I see it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open. That way, Mummy will believe me. I saw the weird door. Julia said the one that wasn't there before. Mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is a scary. I will hide the key in the doll's house and I will hide the five dolls too. Even if they get mad at me, I will bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. Perfectly splendid. One will be hungry. So her friend will make dinner. Another will read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. So that's like where we gotta place them. That'll be the puzzle. One will be hungry. Her friend will make dinner. Another will read. Mum takes a shower. The ugly one watches the door. That'll be the puzzle solution. Okay. A record player with a piece by Vivaldi ready to play. I'm more of a Chopin lover myself, but this isn't the worst choice. Spooky old diving helmet. <coughs> Lowering volume in case of a jump. Me in every horror film. Daniel. Is that you? Maybe we're gonna find our way to that hide under the... Oh! Oh, wait, what's the A button? Oh my god. Okay, I was hitting the wrong one, so it's a good thing I looked. Something's trying to get in. Make sure the door does not open. Gather strength. Once you feel strong enough to push, block the door with the right trigger. Wait for maximum strength. It's effective, but it's risky. You decide when to push the door, but be careful. No matter what happens, make sure you'll keep it shut, 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 shut. Wait. Oh, okay, so the buttons in this don't correspond to what's on my controller, so someone's definitely going to die. Lovely. Close it! Hold it closed! Come on! Oh. 
luckily you made it this time. You're safe. For now. But don't let your guard down. Whatever that was, it could still be lurking in the shadows. Events will give you a chance to put your ear to the door in rooms you already visited. Remember to be extra careful. It might save your life, life, life. Oh, God. We made it. What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? Okay, don't go that way. Message received. It's the tickle demon. Let's see if we can uh, light that fire. And go to the fuse box too, see if we can turn the lights on because it's so dark. If I come here, can I... Oh, I didn't... I have the matchbox, but I don't have, like, the pictures in my inventory that I took off the fridge. Alright, let's go to the fuse box. I think it was out here. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tentacle, tickle. Oh, I can go upstairs now. fuse box is up there. Because we've been everywhere down here and I don't think I saw the fuse box today. What's this? Removed a painting from the mark of the wall. I don't think they took it down too long ago. Portrait. Not familiar with the artist. James Franco in the picture though. Would you uh would you rather be like uh tickled by something like gross and squelchy like tentacles or something like sharp like those demons hands coming through? What's a worse texture? But it's not like a painful thing. I'm just like sharp or squelch. Texture question. this picture. An image of Catherine Hush's wife with their children, Julia and Saul. Do not look at this photo. Well, old oh, god, what the heck, dude? <laughs> That's actually a really neat little scare. Oh, I didn't listen. Oh, thank god it's locked. Oh my gosh. I, got, I forgot that I have to listen to the doors before I go through. Terrifying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hate being tickled just kills me. I'm very, very ticklish. Actually, not a fan. Listen. I'm so gonna die, like, forgetting to listen and lose a character. That sounds clear to me. Mm -hmm. Sharp, because it's a nice scratch. Oh, we could scratch. All sorts of toiletries here. The nun. A dishcloth. A dirty dishcloth. Oh, whoa, what? That moves so weird. I can move it around like I'm doing a magician's trick. I think a new conjuring just came out, didn't it? Huh. This movie is uh, fun. Maybe I can mop up the uh, the floor in the kitchen with that rag. But I'm but oh, why is this like sealed with some fullness? Figurines and masks from faraway places. The atmosphere. Oh, I didn't listen. Oh my god, like I <laughs> oh no. Listen to the doors, Morph. What are we doing? Just walking through. Paintbrushes. Dude, I thought about buying some paint again to do painting some models. Like I was trying to think of stuff I can do to like chill. Paint's expensive. Like, model paint? 
It's like, man, let me just like think what fe what handful of colors I need instead of buying a whole bunch. My brother did it for a while. I asked him, I was like, hey, did you sell all those paints that he sold for? He was like, oh, I was thinking of doing it again too. I was like, yeah, we should get some stuff. Why can't I look at this? There's like a something there. But I can't... I'm trying to look down at it. The marks on the floor related to the trapdoor somehow. Okay. What would I use on the trapdoor? Yeah, like Warhammer stuff, little models. Little figurines. I painted one once and I was like, oh, I like this. It's relaxing, it's enjoyable, and then I just never did it again. They have an attic. find something in another room to do within here first. Let's go over here. Listen. Oh, the one time doesn't let me listen. Art supply is expensive. Yeah, like is paint actually expensive or is it just because it's like the hobby side of it and then like model paint, painting set? The ones that would be like in Games Workshop or mm -hmm. something. A battery for the floodlight, okay. So, probably want some wiring to connect that up. Yes. I got some tongs. Huh. So many things already. Happy anniversary. Oh, it must have been someone's 12-month sub. Out here having a dinner on the balcony of the Bear Island Cray Manor House. Uh -huh. The plants are nice and green. Anything else out here? And then we might go back down to the kitchen, because I feel like we should definitely have something for those wires now. Man, how nice would it be to have a balcony like this? Super chill. I've always thought it would make for like a pretty chill stream, honestly, just having a cam on the model and like painting it. I don't know if I would do it on here, if it would be the kind of thing maybe I would do like on TikTok lives or something, but... Wait, there's another thing here. I always thought that would be... Just something to do whilst talking, basically. Here we get our bloody TikTok stream key. Okay, let's go get those wires. To the kitchen, which was the door that I missed. Which was where? Let me see on the map. Oh, don't put that out, silly. Uh, ah, there we go. Beautiful. Painting, and I'd be terrible at it, but it'd be, you know, chill. <clears throat> oh. Okie dokie. Who's that? The radio. Okay. I'm thinking dishcloth. Yeah. I buy a puddle, it says. So then, what's that allow me to do? Hmm. I guess it was just a danger. Maybe if I stepped on it, I would die. And now I've wiped it up. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't actually look like it uh, got me anywhere, though, does it? What else could I do? Uh, maybe see if there's a fuse box somewhere. So in the living room, is there something I could do with the fire now? What does that symbol mean in the dining room? Like maybe I've missed something. Is that what that means? Mm. 
And it looks like there's a locked door from the kitchen, actually. But I think that's the one that's locked on the outside. Oh, I should have listened. Mm -mm. Phew. Listen first. I think we're okay. Uh, use... Huh. Key. That would do no good? What do you mean? Uh -huh. Usually these keys open more than one door. Yes. Ah, I must hit the wrong button. New room. Huh. I used to climb into empty wardrobes like this, playing hide and seek as a girl. Do you don't Bloody have hell. any fish foods? <laughs> Thank you for the 250 biddies. A ghost spoke in me. Appreciate it. Get some love in the chat. A bunch of items piled up in any way. A bird cage with the bird dead. Ah, for the fire. Nice. Take. Perfect. Oh, that was a clue for me to come and hide in here, wasn't it? If something's chasing me. Maybe the little cross thing means I got everything. Because I went in there and I picked stuff up and now that has the same thing as what's in the dining room. So let's head back to the living room. Kind of into the slow burn pace of this so far and we'll see how it picks up. Knowing you can lose the character makes it pretty tense. in here. Use up all the matches before managing to light the fire. Uh, what? We need some like gas or something, like fire starter stuff. Oh my God, it's always something. Oh, right as I, <laughs> it was like she blew the candle out because it was right as I hit the button. Oh no. Terrible. Damn. She really went for it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, anonymous cheer coming in with the poopy bits with the triple four. Thank you very, very much for the beautiful support. I appreciate it. The oil, no, the oil's gone. It was used as the lube and that's it. All gone now. I reckon I gotta find where to put the fuses. Thank you for the support. If I was a fuse box, where would I be? Nothing in here. Be back in here. Uh-uh. Oh, listen. 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 Nothing. Where's this go? Was this here before? What's there? A 
Nothing. Did I miss this? Oh, it's locked. Oh, wait. But I have a key now. Say something was going to grab the ankles through the stairs underneath. That would be the worst. Okay. Dear Julia, if you found this note, congratulations. You're one step closer to solving the puzzle I've prepared for you. I hope it keeps you entertained while I'm away. I've hidden your favorite doll in the safe and changed the combination since you aspire to becoming a detective when you grow up. I think this is a great chance to put your deduction skills to the test. The new combination is as follows. The number of our street address. Oh, where did they say they lived? Saul's age. The decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. The most convoluted clue. The decade and year the canvas hanging upstairs right next to the staircase was painted. Good luck, my dear inspector. Hugs and kisses from daddy. Safe riddle. Okay, number of street address. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Probably on the paper outside or something. Why would it be on the paper outside? Probably on an envelope. Saul's age. Maybe on the picture? And then we can just look at the painting, can't we, to see. Oh, Saul was seven? Okay. <laughs> this isn't supposed to be scary because it's like not even in first person, but it somehow really is because of the atmosphere. Ah, made me jump. Thank you for the triple six. Got some evils in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, ah, so I bet because it's the picture wasn't on the wall, we have to find one that matches the shape that's been removed from the wall. So a circular picture, probably. Right? Doesn't seem like there's anything else here, though. That was a good one, you got me. That's some old wine. Music's really good. East Asian vases. Hmm. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah, the fuse box. Finally, get some light in here, perhaps. Um, bloody, what is this? 25, 50, 30. Huh? What? Uh, but how do I... Hmm? Up. Oh, right, so it's got to add up. So... 25, I mean, is that the top one? Is the 25 the leftmost one? And then it has to match the green, which is here. Then what does that add to? So the green goes into all of them, actually. So, right, let's start off. We'll put the something easy in there just to 20. Right. So the one on the end is 30. But those wires are all the same, aren't they? Up. So the green, 20 goes in there, and then 20 and 10 is 30. But how do I know that's going, maybe it's going to the middle one. Green goes into all. Okay, so the, the thing is, the maths puzzle is what goes into all of them that makes... 30, 50, and 25. Right? What do I have? How do I even get to 50 with it? I would need to add three together. Is there one that has three wires coming out of it? Looks like this top one only has one, actually, so that must be 25. 
what was her sister? A princess! The Wicked Witch of the East! She came down in a bubble. Thank you. A very generous spooky ghost on a spooky Friday. Thank you very much. Get some ghosts in the chat. Be spooky. Red. Uh, I just been wrong. Right? So if the first one's 25, could also be 10 and 15 though, couldn't it? I don't bloody know. Ah, I see. So a red and a green. So that one, if we want it to be 30, let's make that the 20 and the 10. Let's see how this works. 20. Ten. I don't want to use my bloody eyes today. And that one is... Am I dumb or can I literally not make 50 with only two of these? Like 25 and 20 is 45. So it must be one that has three, but I can't see three wires coming out. Okay, so then that one is green and yellow. That would be 45, though, wouldn't it? No. Wait. Ah! ah no, what are you doing? Don't... <laughs> I thought it was instructions. Alright, try again. I got this! Um... Try 10? Because 10... And 15 would be 25. Maybe that corresponds to that one. I would assume that they're... Aren't they? 20 and... No. Um... <laughs> come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Oh wait, that one has three in it. That one has blue, green, and red. Okay. So that must be the 50. So 50 with these would be... Um, wait. Wait, how do I make 50 with these? With three. Can I do that? 25, 15, 10, right? Okay, so in the one that is not part of that is the 25, right? Uh-uh-uh. And that one needs to be all of those together. And the green goes into every single one, so I'm guessing that's the 10. And then it's a toss up between what goes into these, right? Sneeze. Um, so that would make that corner one 25. And then 20 plus 10 for 30, green and uh, one that's just green and something else. So that would be the green and the yellow. I think I actually need to move the 25. I put the 25 in the wrong spot. So we go 10, 20, 25, 15. Oh, FML. <laughs> I thought I had got it. Right. Try try again. Twenty-five, fifteen, 
25. So 15 and 20 is the is not a not not a result that we want. Okay, right. <laughs> so I don't I have maths trauma, okay? It's a very real condition. This is unacceptable. I got this though. Watch me struggle. Watch me succeed. Um, I got this. God damn it. I had the 10 in the wrong spot. I can't even remember where they were. 10. So that's the three. This one is yellow and green. With two. With two, I can make a... 20... A th no, a 30. It's probably what I want with the two. 20. 10. Salem, thank you so much for the never give up biddies. I appreciate it. We shall never give up. A free quote reading to inspire us with the never give up. Do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's own trouble be sufficient for the day. True. So then that's the one with all three. So red, blue, and green. So 10, 15, 25. Am I on the right track, baby? I was born this way. And then we've got red and green going into there. That would be 25. Is this what I did before? Bloody did it. Let there be light. My brain hurts. Finally. Daniel, if you're here, I'm going to find you. He is one with the tentacles. Oh. This sounds... Uh... Child? the safe. So what was it? Seven. Let me know I can see something else here. The light's on. More junk. No. Oh, I have to get the note again. So Saul's age seven, street address, and the decade and year of the canvas hanging upstairs next to the thing. So we shall go and see if we can find that. Something's gonna happen on the staircase. I already know it. Oh my god, why are you there clicking? That's dangerous with the bowl. That was hot, probably, you silly woman. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to just be there as we came around the corner. It's putting the lights out. Silly. Scared of the dark. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay. Let's go locate that picture then, shall we? She said, boop, lights out. Wonder if that's the the wife. <laughs> the way she goes up the stairs, me going upstairs tired. So I think this one that's missing is the one we're looking for. So we're looking for a circle picture somewhere. All right, that sounds okay. Huh. New room. Listen. 
VHS tapes. Always spooky. Hmm? What's this? Ugh, that room looks really dark. Ooh. A book open on the table. It's in Russian or a similar language. There's a light here. Something's rustling at the door, though. is something else, isn't it? Oh, a doll. Nice. Yes. Red rag doll with a flower in her hair. I like how the stuff, the items move. Somebody come get her. Bump, bump, bump. Voice recording. I am starting to worry. A few days ago, Mrs. Catherine started sleeping in Saul's room. I love the song. Children. She's been avoiding me lately. Is she ashamed of something? Alexander and I have lived in this house for 16 years. With her and Mr. Sebastian. We've seen their children grow since they were babies. I don't understand this. You guys ever have a dictaphone? That's fun. I saw her playing and reading with the children in the living room last night. They looked exhausted. I could hear it in their voices, but they wouldn't go to sleep. They seem to be avoiding it at all costs. I wonder if I can look at other stuff whilst this is... I had a terrible nightmare okay. last night. Something was lurking in the house. But in my attempt to escape, I couldn't find the main door. It was as if it didn't exist, or as if I couldn't make it to the entrance hall. Okay, that's everything in here. Thing is that I don't remember waking up. Bum, bum, bum. If I should put the light off. So what did we get? We got a doll, which is... Wait, inspect it. It says, is she happy or starving? So that could be the hungry one. Oh, hello. We're vibrating. So spooky. What room is this? The toilet. Oh, why did you make a noise? She went, oh! Dusty mirror. Toilet trees. Shower curtains are kind of scary. Ouch. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, creepy kids room. Look at that puppet. Something terrible is drawing near. You need to hide before it's too late. Look around you and find a place where you can go undetected. Once you've interacted with the hiding place, it will appear on the map with the following symbol. Time is short. Run. Over there. Get in the Hide cupboard, this. lady. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. Hold your breath. You managed to hide from the darkness, but worse is yet to come. Try to keep a level head, calm down, follow the rhythm of your heartbeat. When the white border reaches the center of the circle, don't let your heart beat too fast or you'll start to panic. Above all else, don't look at it. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. Definitely didn't get so many people killed trying to go in time with a heartbeat and until dawn or anything. Oh, 
rhythm game. Don't look. Oh god. She looked. Hey, a bear. Was that for real? Or, or am I imagining things? A bar. Huh? An ugly bar. It's one of the bears we keep in the back. Set it high. Burn it. All bears must be cute. Oh, the doll's house. Here we go. That'll be where we put stuff. So we can put the hungry one down here, I should think. We have to go and find the other dolls. Um, a second drawing by Saw. Seven years old. Mummy, I've drawn us being surrounded by the shadow people that visit me at night. Oh, that's lovely, dear. They're coming to kill us. Okay. Hello, orphanage. Definitely uh, take the baseball bat with you. Let's see, is there anything else in here? So this is where we bring all the dolls when we find them. Oh, it's spreading. That doesn't look good. Don't know if I want to get too close. It gets close. It says, there isn't the slightest chance I'm touching that. I'm inclined to agree. Alright. Did I find anything that would help us with the attic here or anything like that? I've got a ring, got some tongs, I've got some matches. I'm still looking for something to light the fire with. We've got a trap door. And we got as well. Probably need like a ladder or something. Use the tongs on the floor. Huh. Mm-mm. No. Mm-hmm. Listening? No, I keep forgetting, but some of them you can't. If you've been through them recently, I don't think you have to. Oh, wait, I have the wires out there, don't I? I need... Okay. I feel like I need to find another item. Did we go this way? I don't know if we did. This feels new. A remote control for the garage. So we'll go back down and use that. Lovely armchair surrounded by books. A little reading nook. Keep the table in mind for a spot to hide. Okay, so there's a picture, but I don't think that's the one that was on the wall. It was definitely circle, right? It's like an oval shape. What's this? African masks and Indian masks. Contracts. <laughs> what? Why is this so scary, dude? It's freaking me out. <laughs> it's making me jump every time. Uh, something jamming the lock. It's a broken key. Why is there a heart beating? Can I poke the door with something? Poke the key out? Do the old paper under the door trick? Let's go down to the garage and use the clicker, as they say in America. Okay, what's this? Let's do another hallway up here. Dear Sebastian, I want to tell you firsthand I will be taking some much needed time off. That means the store will be closed as of tomorrow. I wanted you to hear it from me rather than read it on a sign on our door. My daughter is currently traveling and I must confess, I can't keep up with our everyday demands on our own, especially since I haven't been able to sleep well lately. 
As soon as she's back, we'll be open for business again. Rest assured, you will be the first to know. I hope to feel better by then. All Mr. regards, Isaac. The owner of an antique shop. Cheerio, old bean. Listen? Listen? Listen. Ah, is this... Hmm, scaffold goes here, elevation plan of the mansion. Erect scaffolding, paint exterior, repair leaks, fix loose tiles, check old pipes. Oh my god, I'm a Chipotle. They're building a Chipotle, Chipotle up there. I had Chipotle sauce in my subway yesterday. It was delicious. With my Italian meats. Uh, thank you very much. Chipotle ghost. Mm -hmm. Uber eats it put a tip in the app and then felt very annoyed to watch them do another drop off on the way and take like 30 minutes to deliver a sandwich. <laughs> you would just watch the thing. You can see them on the map which is like the best thing ever to see exactly when it's arriving. It's so great for anyone with anxiety that wants to know when the door's gonna go and you have to get your food. But also I can see you sitting there for 10 minutes. Where's my sandwich? It's like, hey, I'm put, I put a tip on this order and it's only a subway. Come on, man. It's like, is doing a, is doing a delivery on the way and it's like the other side of town in the wrong direction? It's like, damn, dude. Oh, God. Is there someone on the other side? Of this? Didn't we just listen? <laughs> yeah, the southwest source. It's so good. Hmm. So another thing that's done on the other side of the door. But um, I never want to change the tip if they suck. Yeah. I thought about it. I was like, man, I've waited forever for this sandwich, and they totally disappeared, did another drop off, and then sat there for ages. But I was like, ah, screw it. Hot day, you know, delivery driver. I don't think they actually uh, see the tip until it goes through, actually. Like, an, I don't think they even know until an hour after. Um, as far as I know, I don't think it, like, pops up and says tip. You can put extra money in it here to do priority delivery. Like, if you really want it, you can pay three quid and it comes up as a priority. Which I guess goes to a tip, so people like take it quicker. Because sometimes my order will sit there whilst it like cycles through drivers who accept it and then cancel it. Um, but I don't think they see the tip till after. I think. Also, I really like that when I get Starbucks, they, like, wrap it up a lot in cling film, because I definitely have that paranoia, even when I eat at a restaurant or something, where I don't want anyone doing anything to the food. So I really appreciate it when it comes and it's like, you know that it's not been touched since it was made, at least. Um, what did we say? Garage, that was it. We got the remote. What's that, Liv? Once you rate them. Do you know what? I always actually forget to do the ratings. You can see your own rating as well. I wonder what rating I have for being a passenger. Because literally, I just sit silently. I just say, You're right. How's, you know, how you doing? Cool, cool. And then that's it. Thank God they never bothered to try and talk to me. But some of them, maybe they want you to talk. I don't know. I'm always just like, You good? Cool. That's it. Stare out the window now. So this, 
if I use the old thing here now. Water dripping onto the electrical box. Huh? So I gotta flush the boiler, maybe? Alright. So let's look at these instructions again. Uh, taxi drivers talk too much. Yeah, like, I feel like black cabs talk to you non stop. Alright, mate, yeah, where you been? Like, traditionally, taxis would always just, like, talk non stop if you got in. Doesn't matter where it was, just like, to the airport, if you're coming back late at night, anything like that. But now, Ubers don't talk to you at all, in my experience. And mini cabs don't really either. I think they just know people like it quiet. Um, shut down is the left button. With malfunction, 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 emergency shutdown, keep the blue button pressed for four seconds. Okay. Mm -hmm. The option to make it so they don't talk to you. That's not on my app. I have heard that, but I don't, it's not here. Um, is it this one? Hold the blue for four, one, two, three, four. Did it? Alright, mate, where you been? You never guessed who I had in back of my cab the other day. It's like, yeah, cool, man. you mind not talking to me? They're like, oh, one star for this passenger. <laughs> they say, oh, look at you, one star for you, love. Unbelievable. Try and take the folder? Oh no, this seems, something's gonna grab me if I reach in there. <gasps> yes or no, should we reach in and take the folder? What do you think? I'll let you decide. Yes or no? I swear, if you get us killed. <laughs> Everyone's saying yes, okay. Oh god! Oh, she did it. A haiku folder, a piece of a collectible. Ooh. There are several sheets of paper in it. Why can't I... Hmm. And I just got uh, jumpers, so we'll be able to turn that floodlight on now as well. Dun, dun, dun. She really walks like she's, you know, on the catwalk. On the catwalk, yeah. I do my little dance on the catwalk. I can't remember the lyrics. Should really, since it was one of those karaoke songs. Do my little turn on the catwalk, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Barbecue reminds me of the summer I spent with Daniel and his aunt at Uncle Beachhead. I love Uber though, it's like so simple and they're like usually pretty quick. It takes out so much of the kind of hassle and like waiting of booking a cab and making sure a cab was available for the next day and ringing up the mini cab place. Just beep boop boop in your phone. Someone shows up. It's like all done automatically. It's so good. Reasonable prices because cabs in London are usually so expensive. It's great. A pick and a bucket to use for gardening. I am a fan. It's just a shame at the moment uh, you always have to sit in the back. I feel sick when I sit in, sit in the back, but it's fine. Oh, I didn't listen! Uh -uh. Oh, it's locked with a key, thank God. I think this is... Ooh, wait. My key's gone. Did I use the last key? I don't have a key anymore. 
Huh. Okay, so let's go uh, do that floodlight upstairs. Mm, sit in the front. I mean, I used to, but I was getting a mini cab. And you said we were gonna get you killed, Morphilo. I mean, I'll definitely get myself killed. That goes without saying. Oh, okay, back into the house. Thank you, Ginger for one hundred. Appreciate it. Um. But yeah, with minicabs and stuff, I would sit in the front. I think as long as I've actually used Uber, it has been during the pandy, so I've never actually jumped in the front of an Uber. Always been in the back. There is a locked door there somehow. Is that the one that I was just looking at? It is. Uh... Right, let's go upstairs. I suppose it's the done thing to sit in the back because that's how like black cabs are. You have to sit in the back. The traditional cabs. I say when I went to get my vax though I was like I was I was seconds away from being like mate pull in a second <laughs> oh I took too long standing around oh god wait mate pull in a second mate oh god oh god hide hide in the cupboard can I hide in the same place twice I was telling a story Look. Oh god. Oh god. It's awful. Okay. Crikey. That's over. Just horrific. Totally horrific. I'd had a really bad migraine leading up to it, so I was like very close. Luckily, just got there in time. The test of will. Medallia. Battery clamps. Boom. shoot light at? Does it burn away the mould? Aha! Oh! Ooh. Mm. It is too strong. Got it. Nice. Success. The sweet smell of moldy success. for the attic? Maybe. Black and white photos, sepia prints, they're modern, but I suppose they were trying to give them an antique finish. 
like an old West World West painting that you'd get at the mall. Pose with a cowboy hat yes. on. Yes. Another key. That'll be for outside. What does it say on it? Hasher. Masher? Lasher? Hasher. Pasher. Uh -huh. Oh, Masher. Okay. Says it on there, man. Mashed potato, the housekeeper. Julia's room. Felix clock. I feel like my nan had one of those. Medals and trophies. A skateboard. We got somewhere to hide. An ace at skating. What's this? <laughs> glue. Super glue. Huh. The girl's bed. It's made up and covered in dust. A tape? Splendid. And that song? I hear it everywhere. I wish we'd never listened to it. Something is watching us. An amusing poster of Through the Looking Glass. I adore Carol. I'd wager everyone thinks it's from Alice in Wonderland. I've never heard of these bands. I want problems always! <laughs> It was like she heard it. <laughs> she reacted. There's someone at the door. Someone out there saying they want some problems. Thank you very much for the 250. Appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Oh, this way. Oh, rums. That was wonderful timing. Lots of bathrooms in this house. The toilet's clogged and it reeks. I see something down in there. Hmm, tongs. Yes. Ew. A doll. Black rag doll. A dirty old rag doll. It's all patched up. That is terrifying. Somebody come get her. Twerking sack boy. Smashed mirror. Oh god. Hearing things. I feel like, wait, if I, when I'm hearing the heartbeats, maybe I need to get out. Maybe that means something's coming for me. Like how that thing just appeared on the ceiling when I was standing there telling a story. Like, oh, I didn't listen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. No! No! Because I didn't listen! Ah. Oh. She died. Oh, we were doing so well. Oh my God, dude. Oh, dude. That's so bad. Wow, it's just as simple as that. I, I figured it would be like the thing where you open it and the hands come out and then you have to do the whole mini game thing. Wow, it just killed us. Um, let's be this lady, Alina Ramos with the, cause she got a walkie talkie. I feel like it's gonna pick up like ghostly transmissions on it. Although story wise, it would make sense for this guy to now go to the house and be like, huh, what happened to her? I sent her to the house, right? 
Should I be Etienne? I want problems always. Or Al Alina. One or two. One for the guy, two for the girl. Who should we be? Pan Pan thing for the 250 bits. We've got problems. Ah. Oh. Damn. We were doing so good. I was just in my head thinking how well we were doing. One, you want to send the guy in. Etienne. So what happens now? Elijah, sadly, you just lost one of your characters. When this happens, the victim is no longer part of the story. Ouch. If you lose a character, every item in their inventory drops to the ground. The location of these items will appear on your map. As long as you still have playable characters, your progress in the game is saved. Be careful if you lose them all. You have to restart the episode. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's not too bad once you know where things are, right? So, if I go up to the room she was in, I wonder if all of the stuff's going to be there. What is this, Daisy? I like that as a feature, honestly. It's... Oh. Oh! Uh, because I guess because I put the power on, now the burglar alarm's going off. I don't know the security code. Ah, it'll be... Oh! Oh, God! Huh! Ah. It's fine, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Hello? Ah, look, there's her stuff. Uh, how do I get in there? Oh, it was in this door here, wasn't it? Okay. Listen to the doors. Listening to the doors. Singing to remind myself to listen to the doors. I'm not talking about the band. I'm talking about putting your ear to the wood. Oh, look. Hmm. All her stuff. So now do I have everything? Okay, so now I have everything that she had. Alright. Listen. Okay, so we won't go in there. We'll leave that. So, what did I get? I got another doll. Got the matchbox, got some glue, I got a folder. Got my note folder. So this is like his personal item. That he has. What did I get that I could use? I found the doll in the toilet. Let's see, that's clear, that's clear. Let's go put the doll in and just see if it does something. Even though he doesn't know the story, he's like, huh, I found a doll. I have a strange urge to put it in the doll's house in here. I used to love playing with dolls when I was a little boy. And this one was watching the door, wasn't it? I'm guessing this is the ugly one, which would be... Maybe watching the door, I don't know. I'll wait till we got them all to fix that puzzle up. Okay. Um, so what do we have? Oh, 
have Masha's key. I wonder what room that's for. Perhaps the one that didn't work, that was outside, wasn't it? That would make sense for the groundskeeper. This is, like, scarier than Resident Evil 8, and it's not even first person. I don't know how it's doing it, but it's, like, very unsettling. Is this to the garden? Uh, yes. Through here. This guy is the best dressed so far, to be honest. Is it? Creaky cage. I know he's a publisher, but I want to pretend he's like a private detective. Just because I always kind of thought it'd be really cool. A private detective. Private dick, as they say. There we go. Have a listen. Safe. Scribbled notes, half of them in Russian, some Slavic language. This is the. <laughs> Uh, just, oh god! Not like this! You just got here, Etienne! Etienne! Run! No! What do I have? Oh! Yes! Shut. <laughs> Imagine if I'd hit the wrong button there and I'd, right after doing that he just goes click link hello <laughs> just walks in scoop dead Okay Okay Wait what did I say the latch was closed Okay, so this leads back into the house. Right, let's go explore those other rooms. What's this here? Sleeping pills. God damn. Uh, have I been in here? I think so. Oh, another doll. Nice. So I think I'm only missing one or two now. Mm-hmm. Ragdoll with a short ponytail. Do the doll dance. Do the doll dance. Do the doll dance. <laughs> like I said, I'm wasting time. Alexander, I wish you never had to find this note. I left the house. At least I tried. I pray that this is not the last time you hear from me. I haven't seen Mrs. Catherine or the children in days. Sometimes I hear them crying upstairs. But I never find them. They always seem to be in the room next door, even if such a room doesn't exist. It's like the red room, isn't it? From uh, the first, not Bly Manor, the other one. Hill House. There's something horrendous here, but that's something I can't describe. I barely dare to leave our room anymore. I have to go before it's too late. Love you, mashed potato. Okay. Sewing machine's really old. Somewhere to hide. Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. First series is really scary. Second one's a love story, innit, Poppet? It's not a ghost story, it's a love story. Ten episodes of nothing happening. Alright, Poppet, I'm the gardener. X. 
Want a drink? Perfectly splendid. It was uh, it was good. It was watchable. It was too predictable though. I thought, and not enough spoops. Like you got you got three episodes in, you're like, ooh, this is tense. What's gonna happen? I can't wait for those scares to start after. Ooh, that first season was episode four. Still, ooh, it's gonna get really scary any second now. Because I want a drink. Right, next episode maybe. Perfectly splendid. Right, nothing's really happening. It's the end. You're like, I feel empty. Okay, what did I find in here? Another doll. But nothing for anything else. That thing's moved from this door now. Oh, I think it's actually moved. Ravioli from Breath of the Wild. I just turned everything into food, huh? Now that you mention it. What do we have here? Something for the fire, maybe. Solvent. Thinner. Uh, flammable. So maybe we would use that on the fire? I don't know. What else would you use some solvent for? The sink is full of black water. I can't even see the bottom. Do I need to look for something in there? I'd have to put my hand in, guys. Yes or no? Should Etienne... Now bear in mind that Etienne has just joined us. Should he reach his hand into the sink and... See what's in there and pull the plug? Yes or no? <laughs> no, we got lucky with the car one. Trusting you. Mm -mm, do it, yes. Yes, no, no, no. Do it, yes. I like Etienne. Please don't die, sir. Right. Well, uh, this is great banter. It really is. <sighs> Curiosity killed the cat. Game, why are you trolling me? Right, two down, two lives to go. <laughs> no! All right, well, okay. Damn it. Do we play as the husband of mashed potato, Alexander Laskin? I'm 59, I have candle and drink. Or random uh, security lady, probably on a call out, like, oh, I heard the alarm go off. This is episodic too, so we've got to like get through this episode with these characters, and then there's probably like a whole bunch of new characters. I'm actually pretty into this. What do you think? One, Alexander. Two is the lady. Dude, we should have been the lady, and then we could have been Etienne right now, but there you go. I would have I would have reached in there anyway. Like, what if a key was in there? What if something we needed to do other stuff was in there, right? Sophie dead, Etienne dead. Two, one, two, one, one. Let's be Alexander. Makes sense. He's coming looking for his wife. She left me a letter. Mashed potato. Well, my little mashed potato. Where have you gone? Where is she? He's, he's got his little flask, so he's drunk. I do am a fan of candle. In old country, we only need candle, don't need flashlight. You western posh boys with your flashlights and lighters. Why is the door open? Why is the door open? Am I Dracula or am I 
Russian, I cannot tell yet. What is happening here? <laughs> right, where did we die? We're gonna get, it, get that stuff back. I make this candle myself. Suck wax out of many ears in village. <laughs> How many ears I sucked to make this never ending candle? You don't want to know, no, trust me. But it is good candle, strong candle. That is a yeah, throwback joke to Wednesday, yes? Very funny, very funny joke. Mashed potato! She lives back here somewhere. Hello? Hello, my, my little cabbage. It is me, Alexander. Was it in here? That was the sink. Well, she is not pooping. I will check somewhere else. Oh, I wonder actually if he'll have some um, dialogue for looking at the letter that's to him. This letter is to this guy that's on the desk here, because this is his wife's little house. Now it says, Ephesians, put on the full armor of God so you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Masha underlined this passage several times. Put on the armor of God. Oh, because he can read... Is this guy going to be able to read the writing? You know when there was stuff that said it was in, like, Russian or something? I wonder if or you look at it with this guy, if it actually translates it. That's cool. I can't remember what that was, but... Oh, like here, it said something about this being in another language, didn't it? And then it says, look, here, Mesh, and I write down our chores for each day. That's very cool. I think he died in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this bag doing here? My heart is beating. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! Do I... Oh! What a... No! Run! 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 Oh. Run, <gasps> oh, Alex. Sink. I don't like the heartbeat that's going on. Let's get the heck out of here. I did not have time to plant new grass for lawn when I left to care for my brother. I love it. Like, all of the stuff, the exa examining stuff is completely different. That is so cool. Such a nice touch. Okay. So we have the doll to go upstairs. Which may or may not be the last doll, and we might have solvent. Like, solvent would be good for starting a fire, right? Mm -hmm. It's because it doesn't always say listen. That's the thing. And also keep an eye out for a uh, circular painting. So we can open the safe in the basement. Let's go to the fire. This is... Dude, I really like the pacing of this and how it's kind of stuff is all falling into place right now from all of the things that we've been slowly picking up. That first 30 minutes, I was a little bit like, was this going to be like me just getting lost in a house for an hour and then giving up? But... So far, so good. is soaked in solvent. If I try to use my candle to light the fire, it will burn my hand. There has to be another way. Vlad, it is my moment in the spotlight. I have been in the box for far too long. Finally, it has been many months. I was relegated to saying, Hui! Looking for my little mashed potato. Vlad probably calls Flurry his little mashed potato, actually. She has my mashed potato head and mashed potato booty. 
I remember when Mr. Sebastian, his friends and I hunted this deer. We killed it with single shot. Okay, so the fire's on. What does that do? I feel like maybe I want to burn something in there, but what? Hmm. The folder, maybe? to drink, I'd do it to calm down. So he can have a drink when he needs to calm down. So maybe when I hear the footsteps, I should do that. I thought the fire would reveal something. So we still have a ring. Let's have a look at this. Let's take the doll upstairs. Maybe this needs cleaning. The one ring. That's what he says about the piano. Little Sol was taking piano classes. I wonder if he still is. Hello! Doesn't even notice anything's wrong. It's like I live in the old country. Always have light off and only candlelight is perfectly normal. Let's go to the doll's house. Um... Did you guys see that door? Funny, because after we did Resident Evil and it wasn't as scary as I. Who is your daddy? <gasps> and what does he do? Who is daddy? I'm daddy. Masha, daddy is here. Papa. Someone found it. Daddy Friday. Thank you. The ghost. A ghostly daddy. Thank you for the 250. And it like. I thought, oh, that wasn't. I want some scares. Maybe I'll actually go back to Visage, but. How scary this has been. I'm like, eh. Do I need that kind of heart attack? Oh no, I only have three still. So is this... Let's see what it says about that one. Can I not examine them once I have got them? One was in the shower, one was waiting for food, an ugly one watching the door. And there was one more, right? So one more to find. Hmm. We still have the attic to get into. A doll to find. And something to poke, like, through the door to get those doors with the keys trapped in. And we have glue and a ring. I feel like I must be missing some items. Hmm. We should go back to the rooms that we just opened up. Do, 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 do. Good night, Nix. Have an amazing weekend. Maybe maybe they've moved from this room now? Where they killed uh Ooh. What oh. is going on? Oh. No. No. Uh, what Oh god. Wait, have a drink. 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 I cannot stay still. Oh no. I must move. Okay. Maybe are we gonna hide in the cupboard or? Running. Thank you, Lord, for making me warm again. The heck was that? Shit! I'm sorry, I won't mock you again. What was that? Eastern European ASMR. Okay, so nothing in there now. Let me go back up here. Oh, 
Can I... Sir? Sir? Up. Okay, I can't listen, so I'm just going to assume it's safe. This room is clear yet. Why is the light out? Hang on. No. So that's this. That sounds like they're still in there to me. That is still unsafe. <laughs> it just says Saul must have done this little shit. Oh no, I'm sorry. Saul, mother of God. Saul. I'm so Oh god. What do we do? Saul, god. I There's a hiding spot in there, right? Hiding places here. Get moving. I cannot find anywhere to hide. Go in there. Little poop and pants. What happened? Have I lost my mind? My mind. <laughs> oh dear. I couldn't hold it till I went back to the bathroom. <laughs> Demon, get out! Oh, there it goes. Right, where was I going? <laughs> where was I going? Oh, God. Listen here, see if it's... If they've gone yet. Still in there. Still in there. Thank you very much for the triple for a poopy ghost. Blame it on child, it's fine. So we have... Let's see if this guy can maybe reach the attic, I don't know. Right? The paintings are right where I left them before departing. Let me see, March and September. The only thing I can think is to search for the painting for, uh... The safe. If we get in the safe. Somebody's raised the ladder going up to the attic. I could lower it if I could reach that hook. Right. I mean, maybe that broom that's by the back door, though. So, shout if you see a circle painting. Okay, so that's the attic. And then what is that in the study? That is... The doorway that we need to open, isn't it? Let's go have another little look at that. This is the one that there's a key jammed in there. Half is inside the lock. Can I, like poke it with something? More items. There's the Sebastian. I mean, literally just grab one of those pencils, dude. You know. The ship. Okay, so it's not that yet. Just have a 
just for the sake of whilst we're here, have a quick look out here. Just check we didn't miss anything. And that being on. Okay, so all done out here. That's where we just came from, right? That's the toilet. What are those what are these rooms up here? I can't remember. Oh, this room. Okay. Turned itself off. The lights are be a flickering. I wonder if there's anything to me going in there in the dark, or if that would just result in my death. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, it's one that's missing from here. This shape is what we're looking for. Clip the up downstairs. Hello! boys. What would I do with the ring? Our only items are a ring and some glue. Hmm. No puzzles on here. It's got to be something I haven't seen yet. Or it's in another room. That's where the wire was, but that's all good now. Mashed potato must have uh, made some coffee there. I call her mashed potato, she calls me Badger. Like Bodger and Badger, old TV, kids TV show. Bodger and Badger, Bodger and Badger. He loves mashed potato. You remember this? Yes. in the cage here. The birds died of thirst. Why did nobody care for them? Like Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim. Creepy puppets live on boat. Teletubby? Ever see Teletubby? When we first meet, she say, You little like, like shape of Teletubby. I say, Mashed potato. How could you say this to me? She said, I kidding, I kidding. It is adorable. I like that bot. That bot is in. I said, Okay, as long as I'm not thinky winky, you know? Nothing in here. Empty. Kitchen, good. All right, shall methodically search. She said, no, my darling, you are a little dipsy. Is it okay? 
that was the night I knew it is the woman I am going to marry. <laughs> My accent, uh, I lost it after that, that seemingly. Let's go back outside. I was so stunned, I was so in love. My accent went around the world like my heart did. I stopped talking now. Ah! Oh, shit. The door! It is opening! Uh, which one is it? Not another one. Strong like bear. Bar. Russian bear. Our father. Who art in heaven? Hallow be thy name. Good. Okay, gotta be missing something. Where Etienne died. Okay, nothing in here. Check the map. Yeah, look at fusion. So we just came through here. Extra sleeping pills. I'm pretty sure we searched here, right? Let me check my documents. Um. I wonder if this has the address on it. Dusty note, dusty note. Um, scaffold goes here. Does this have the address on it? 841? Like, is that the house address that we need? That drawing by Saul. What was that? What did I just come in here for? Um, I wanted the doll's house thing. Which one was that? This one. One's hungry, her friend makes dinner. One reads, Mum takes a shower. So we're missing a doll. We're definitely. Alright, so there is still a doll missing. Gotta be the safe. So we need to find that missing painting, I guess. Doesn't seem like there's anything going in circles now. Chasing my tail. Let's go outside, see if he'll pick up the broom for getting into the attic. That seems to make sense to me, but like this. Right here. I just use that to get up there, no? What else is out here? in the trunk of the car, maybe. Expensive, sophisticated car. I would not trust it in snow. Beautiful sky tonight. Okay, so this is clear. Why aren't we taking this ladder to get up into the attic? I mean, there's just stuff everywhere that you could use to, to, to solve these puzzles with. But they insist on using the right bloody thing, eh? Literally a ladder there, sir. Oh, 
got. Okay. All right, left side is completely searched. Let's try the library again. I don't think I've been in there for a little bit. Step on a stool or something, man. What's wrong with you, eh? special or something, eh? Get a stool, man. Like, we got the fire on, but it did nothing. Gotta be missing something with that, like burning something, right? Hmm. There is dust. It's a huge pile of books. Was the draw, lots of books, swords. <laughs> Nothing. Just see if I can toss anything I have into the fire. Solvent stinks bad. It doesn't even have an option really to combine anything with the fire. Maybe this is just if I get cold, I should run back to uh, to here. I think like that's all the fire is for. It seemed to get better as we came downstairs. Okay, so library clear, living room clear. Um, I guess it's just got to be wherever they moved this picture to. Let's focus on that. Does this go into the same place? Heavenly Father, oh daddy. Nothing else. All right, all clear in here. Hearts are beaten. We don't even know the address though, do we? Maybe if I go out the front, I'll be able to see what the number of the house is and then we'll be a step closer. Let's do that. And then it's just the painting that we're missing. And there's quite a few of those shaped paintings around. I just, doesn't seem like it's which one it is. I guess it's on the floor somewhere, right? So can we see the house number? I cannot read anything in newspaper, it got wet in line. Did we see anything that had the house address on it? Like we've picked up a lot of notes and letters, but nothing. the address on. <laughs> Number four. Okay, four. There you go. So we've got four, seven. How did I get into the basement, actually? So... Where was the basement? through there, wasn't it? Maybe I can uh, just deduce it. Bum, bum, bum. 
You know, now we have the lights off, actually. Sorry, I just looked over and maybe I can s turn the brightness down a little bit now. Now that we have the fuse box fixed. Is this the way to the basement? In... I can't remember. Ah, oh, where was the basement? Where's the stairs on here? You read a bloody map. Something EB15. Yeah, you're remembering that from the postcode at the beginning, right? When he was like, that's all the way out in the sticks. What a memory. Oh god, I hear footsteps. Oh no, something's gonna happen. out of here. Wait, I think this was the basement actually. Yeah. Um. Oh God. Just run. So we have. Street address, Saul's age, decade and year, the canvas hanging upstairs. Decade and year? <laughs> but it's only four. How do you get a decade and a year? Like one. So it's like. Um, so it's four, seven, and then whatever it is, right? Mm -mm. How do I change it? There we go. So it's four, seven, and then decade, year. So like decade is in... Right? No. 19. No. 16. 1600s. Nah. What's the what's what numbers are decades? Like, wouldn't everything be one something, or does it mean like if it was eighteen hundred, the decade would be eight? I don't know. Yeah. Nah. It's definitely four seven nah. though. Like, this painting is from 1945. Oh, so it would be 4-5, right? Okay, I'm not going to be able to guess it then, am I? Shit. Okay. I mean, try it. Nah. 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 Need to find the missing painting, missing painting, where are you? That's the fuse box. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what? Oh, that's awful. Right. Just pretend you haven't seen it, Alex. It's fine. Just keep, uh, just keep going. We'll leave now. Got a painting to find. Maybe just pick up the pace a little bit. There we go. Good lad. Goodness me, that was terrifying. Picture is though. <sighs> okay. Where should I look? It's meant to be here, 
right? Someone took down the painting. Surely they took it to the basement or the attic. Right, so that means I've got to get in the attic. So now I need to... It's not in the basement, right? So that's where we just were. How do you get in the attic? I'm tempted to look it up just because I'm bloody stuck now. I've been everywhere, so I've definitely just, like, missed an item. So rather than us run around, let's keep the pace going. Um, what's this game called? Song of Horror Attic. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Why are you gonna cry? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Matchbox kitchen, the ring, pick up the oil can, master key. We've done pretty well, I have to say, for uh, not looking anything up yet. Uh, locked box fuses, we did that. Second floor hallway. Dishcloth, grill tongs, remote control, dishcloth on puddle. Yes, 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 yes. Entrance hallway. Move down the stairs. You know it's a safe to the character's left. You're into the basement below. It's a safe riddle. It gives you hints. You're not supposed to know the full code yet. Um, You can do it now if you want. No, we shall do it correctly. Walk through the corridor. The fuse box we did. Battery we did. Man, we've done like everything. Just this one bloody thing. Glue, yep, got that. Um, oh, wait, where is this? What? I've missed a room. I have missed a room. Okay. There's another room on the second floor. Somehow. And it says it's with the ring and the glue. Uh -huh. That you combine those. See? <laughs> and then we find something in that room and can get up there. It is 1998, yes. So where is there a room on here? A second study. Well, let's go see. Do you don't have any fish food? I love that one. Where is the fish food? Oh, wait, maybe it's this room. I'm supposed to get in there somehow. Maybe that's the secret room. Thank you, Anonymous Chair, for the 250. I appreciate you. I nearly just died. I so nearly went through that without listening. We would have been down to one life. But I'm boom. Use the ring with the glue to turn the key. Oh, maybe that's the solution, do you think? Let me try it. I thought the ring would be a way to make the Oh my god, it actually worked. Well done. And then it's there, look. Ah, I thought I was gonna like stick the, hook, yeah. like the key, the ring was gonna be like a hook. I didn't realize that it was for opening that up. Thank you. All right, progress, mm -hmm. baby. Let's go to the attic. Everything is falling apart. 
I don't know what's happening to my telephone, but I can't seem to reach you, which is why I'm writing this. As I do, I pray that it's not too late. Sebastian, do not listen to the music box. I repeat, do not listen to that music box. Something is wrong with that melody. I hear it over and over in my head while I walk, when I read, while I eat or sleep, even in my dreams. All of these things are getting worse and worse. I feel observed, Sebastian. At first, it only happened in my dreams, but lately I feel it while I'm awake, although I find it increasingly hard to tell the difference these days. There's something here with me, a strange presence, and it's not even Christmas. In the halls behind each door I turn my back to, I don't know what's happening. Sorry, my dear friend, I curse the day I sent you that box. It's all your fault. Alright, now we can progress. is in here. Alex is clever. Alex knows how to open things. Can use this. Boom! Yeah. I need to have a look in the attic. Christmas because there was he felt presence, yes. You're feeling presence? Is it Christmas? Eh? Hello, hello. Julia, is that you? <laughs> I don't think I should go over there. That seems like this game is not kind. I'm thinking death. Right? Should we just leave the child crying? Ah! Ah! Listen. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that was not the time. Oh god. I thought she was running up behind me. Oh, that's a lovely picture, isn't it? That's me hearing that alert. Hope! Oh! Don't you pooped myself. 1798. So the last two is 98. 98. Thank you, Grit. That was wonderful timing. You scared the life out of me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, I don't think we should go over to the kid. We only have two lives left. Should I go through the window? Uh, maybe. Have a little look over here first. Right? Let's just chill. Let's let her chill there. Oh, I can go through both of these. Oh no. Wait, which one is the right one? That's not the right one. Um, scaffold goes here, so it's... If I'm looking out, it's the window on the right. <laughs> Why do I feel like if you go through the left one, you just fall to your death? Right? Like, this guy is such an idiot that he can't look out there before he steps. He would just go, Oh, I want me to go out this window. Whee! Splat. Right? It's the right one? Makes sense. Oh, shh! No. <laughs> I was so confident. Oh, what? That was the right window. What? Oh, Schnapple, last life. What did I do wrong? Why did I? Oh my god. Well, why? Did I didn't even need to go out there. Oops. Okay. Oh wow. I really hope we finish this chapter with this character. Otherwise, you have to do the whole thing again. I would love to, like, get through this chapter and then we can come back to this and just, like, do the next episode without having to repeat this whole thing, but... Man. I wonder if the stuff will be... on the floor, then, or if I have to go back up to the attic. Probably have to go back up to the attic, right?
Dude, I love that that guy just stepped out and didn't even look. The door was open. Were they waiting for me? Hmm. And see if it was safe. Just go. They have consulted blueprint. I am fully confident in this decision. Let me slide out this window. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Attic. I have become mashed potato. <laughs> Oh, there's a child up here. Let me go say hello. Huh? <sighs> okay. I'm not even gonna... ...entertain uh. going through the window until it's absolutely necessary. Uh. Uh. She'll go open the safe. Random lady, not even connected to the story. Your last life left, no emotional investment. I'm just here to check out what's going on. Look how the top half of my jacket has got the same faux leather as Daniel's. I'm super cool, super cool. Down to the basement. I've got a head that's shaped like a potato. What was the year? Does anyone remember? Was it... What was the painting? It's completely slipped my mind. Just like Alex slipped off the roof. 98? No, the year of the uh, painting that's in the attic. It wasn't a 98 painting, was it? <gasps> What's happening? Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. I don't know if there's somewhere to hide in there. Oh, God. Listen. Is it safe? Oh, this is bizarre. Okay. Oh god. Lady, I don't know what to do. Where's the nearest hiding place? Uh in the dining room? The dining room? Should I run to the dining room? Oh god, they're all so far away. Wait, maybe that uh up there. Right, if I go sit through this door here. Oh god, I didn't look! Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> it stopped at last. Okay. Alright. Dude, the pressure is on now that this is the last life. If we lose this lady, that's it. Permadeath. It's curtains. It's over. Done for. Restart. I wonder how quickly... I wonder how quickly I could do this now and know where the stuff is. Okay, let's see if we can get to the safe. Listening for termites in the wood. Hmm. I grit my teeth as I run down the stairs. Right, so four, seven, house number is four, kid is seven, what was it, 45, the painting? Mm -mm. Son of a, 47? Nope. Son of a gun. 98, the painting was 98? Oh. The painting was painted this year? Look at this nerd. Look at this little nerdy painting. Uh, nope. Have a look at it. I don't know what one this is. Uh, nope. Hmm. Bet this doll's good at school. So that'll be the bookworm. Okay, so now we go. We have all the dolls, I think. It was eight. Oh, it was 1898. Right, I see. I was getting confused because the year, the current year, is 1998. I see. Well done, well done. Save me going up to the... 
my dick again. Oh, it's hot in here, man. Ah! Get, excuse me? What the fuck? What? Who, Hello? Who's there? <gasps> Just trying to look at the map. I'm trying to open the door. Uh, that's kind of where I need to go, huh? I'll go the long way around. of those candles in the corner, just saying. I want to open my window for some air, but also I don't really need another crane fly, like, crawling along the window, the, uh, the wall next to me whilst I'm playing a game like this. Like, flying into my face, you know? 4D. Horror game in 4D. With this new horror game. We'll find out when you're playing and release bugs into your home. Oh, it just circles around here. But I think that made it leave. Wow. Wow. Terrifying. Do we have spooky alerts? Do we? <gasps> Don't need them with this game. Let me tell you, Reese. Thank you so much for the 500 Goodies, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Happy weekend to you. Happy Friday. Um, where was I going? That's that lady made me lose. What am I doing? Oh, doll's house. Yeah, up we go. Na, 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 na. I'm pretty sure. So <gasps> oh, god dang it! Okay. Holy mother of earth! Every time I talk. Just keep my mouth shut. Huh? Oh, that's the solution, isn't it? I think it's in here. Safe? <laughs> um. Why do I feel like something definitely did a collector's edition where it had a candle that smelt like something when you played it or watched the movie and you burnt that? But I'm surprised more stuff doesn't do that. That would be cool, you know? Like, say it's a game that's, I don't know, set in a cinema and, they, and the, the collector's edition comes with like a little candle that smells like popcorn and sugar or something, you know? You could do it with lots of stuff. Uh, no, this isn't the doll's house. smell vision I've actually really... Oh, well, this is the toilet. Don't need smell vision for that. Oh, Re what a nasty smell. Really enjoyed this game, honestly. And then this is where they're always in here, right? That's where uh, Sophie died. I thought the doll's house was in here. Oh no, it's in the playroom opposite. Okay. In here? Yes. Okay. Ooh, changing smells as it burns down. Yeah, that would be neat. Timed, different smells. Right. So this one is the bookworm in the library. Oh, I'm still missing one in the kitchen? Because one was hungry, right? One's hungry, one watches the door, one's reading, one's in the shower. So I'm still missing a doll. Hmm. <gasps> Check whilst we're here. Wow. Wow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. It says one will be hungry. Her friend will make dinner for her. 
Another will read while mum takes a shower. The ugly one watches the door. So maybe one's in the kitchen and not waiting? Try that. Shower. Book one. Kitchen. Watching the door. How do you watch the door? Oh, the door as in that is in the room, the secret door with the stuff on the wall here, the skull on the wall, because that's where the scary room is. No, I'm still missing one. Mm. Oh. The heck? That means something's coming. One will be hungry, her friend will make dinner, another will read while mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door. You think there isn't a mummy doll thing? Like, this is definitely the book one. This is the ugly one watching the door. Let's try one... I, I feel like these are the same. There's no way for me to examine them. They're both just happy little, like, twin dolls. Let's put one in the kitchen and one here, then. Nothing. I feel like I'm hearing things and maybe I should hide. Crunchy static. What do we have? Ooh. So maybe I've got to get past the child in the attic? It's the only thing that's left is these dolls and the child. But why do I feel like the doll's house is what gets rid of the child blocking the way in the attic, you know? So then we can... Because she's so going to kill us if we go close to her while she's standing there crying, right? And then that would be it. Yo, can this radio shut up? How do I? Ah, uh, nope. Turn it off. Nope. We know that one's there. And this one, it said something about it being so smart, so it has to be the bookworm, right? And these are the same. Look at them. One's... Maybe it's the one without a mouth that's hungry? Okay, try the other way. Put the one with a mouth in there. This one. Why isn't that one cooking, though? Wait, maybe they do different actions when you put them in the room. Like, they're not cooking, are they? Like, that one in there just sits there. That one just sits there. Just sits there also. Hmm... like if they're flopped, it's wrong, maybe. Missing one in the middle, yeah? 
So it is, there's supposed to be one in the shower. Damn! Okay. As Etienne would say, God damn! Well, the only thing I can think of is to have a peek in the attic. Right? That's all we got left. Oh, don't go any closer. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around! Okay. Please, goodness me. You just get whatever is here. A cradle. People say, Alina, you're going to become an old maid. They need to mind their beardness. I don't trust going anywhere near this child. Should I... Trust the other window? There's three windows in here, right? And I feel like it's the one that's next to the kid, actually. Now we see that there's three windows here, right? If we look at the plan, it's the one over there. That's why I fell. So I need to get past the child. I think we might look this up just to be safe because it's the last life. And I actually would love to continue this and the episodes. So let me just double check because this is going to be a terrible, terrible circumstance otherwise. Um, I've missed another room. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Well. I guess we became too cautious. Child? Listen, man, I was killed by a sink earlier, I think. <laughs> right to be scared of a ghost. What happened, baby? Are you okay? Thanks. What? What a crying friend, a parting gift, but only if they're themselves. A haiku folder. Oh, Jesus. Bloody Christ. For sure turn your radio off though, it's driving me absolutely insane. Alright, so this is the safe one. Thank God for that. So that gets you down to here. There was other stuff to look at up there, but let me see what's here first. Ooh, a telescope. <sighs> Scary. Oh, and she's started again. Old souvenirs. Close the door. She's not as strong. Put your back into it. Fuck. Menos mal if that door had opened. That's what I said. Hmm. Under that table. Fuck. Fuck betters. Thank you for the 69. -bum. When are the senores of the house? This bed was made so long ago. Mm -hmm. A wrinkled paper. Please come back. We can't leave the house. Okay, cool. Must travel a lot. Ah, there it is. Ah, that looks like it's got a shower cap on, right? 
says, get ready for a shower. So, that must be what we were after. I want to look at those albums, but right when I try, I hear the voice of my sister saying, Lena, don't be a chismosa. Those are private things. She's not a snooper. Be good. I wonder where this comes out to. Oh, it's a bathroom. Uh huh. Mm. I received the box again. I can't even stand to look at it, but still I hear its music. After returning it to me, has anything changed? Do you feel better? If so, maybe I should do the same, don't you think? I should try to find the previous owner. If that's even possible. Have you discovered anything? Please do tell me. I can't sleep or stay awake. I feel a presence. There is something here with me. Dearest Isaac, have you tried a podcast called Down to Sleep on Spotify and all good podcast apps? It's a podcast of softly spoken stories to help you sleep at night if you're having trouble. You've said here, I can't sleep or stay awake. Perhaps try Down to Sleep. That's downtosleeppodcast.com. You're welk. Signed, Sebastian. Weird, weird that was in the game. Strange. How spooky. Uh, what about the door that we just pushed up against? Maybe that's clear now. Oh, okay, remove the latch. Ah, it was that room, okay. <gasps> ah! A bird. Ay, pobrecito. Oh, oh, that's so sad, poor little thing. This lady has no idea what's happening, does she? She's like, that's sad, that's chill. Oh god. Right, so, let's get back to the playroom. It's right around this corner. <sighs> okay. She's gotta walk like she doesn't afraid of anything. this is gonna do then all right in the shower watching the spooky door cooking bookworm uh, nope oh maybe that's the hungry one it's got a open mouth that one's happy so it's cooking away that one's reading a book that one is defending the door that one is in the shower Mierda. She say yeah or no? What? Mum's in the shower. Watching the door. Which is going to be the hungry one? The one with that mouth or the one smiling? There's no other way for me to inspect them like this. Cooking. Aha! A key. Uh -huh. An old key. Huh? Hmm. What locked rooms have we had? What was locked? Maybe it was something from the... The attic, like on the side, go up instead of down? Because I don't see any locked doors here, so maybe let's go back up and out. Please don't die, please don't die. It would be so clutch to get through this chapter with one character left. I'm actually so curious what the characters will be in the next episodes, you know? Ah. Okay. Such a cool idea for a mechanic. Permadeath the characters, but don't make people restart until they lose them all. Very cool. Okay, I'm back out here. Wait, it says I just see Pete. She won't climb back out? Okay, so I have to 
go that way that the bird came in, I guess. I guess now I've opened it, she doesn't need to go out there. Hmm. Right, well, where was that? Around the back. The master bedroom was that we just were, right? this locked? <gasps> oh my days. Tierra, what is that thing? I don't know if I should look at it. Oh god. Uh, should I just leave? That's awful. Right, okay. What do we do here? Oh, bloody. That is grim. Okay. That is awful. It's got something on it. Oh, I don't like it. Uh... See if the other way is what we want before we mess around with that scarecrow in the bath. That was terrifying. Oh, I don't really want to go up there. Okay, well that's all we've got then. Alright, time to put my hand towards the scarecrow then. I swear, if this is what does us in... Ah! Oh. Holy mother of earth! Dude! What does it say? Aid us, save us, we are doomed. Okay, that's so scary. Not leaving here for a minute. Let's just chill out for a second. Hey, madre, madre. Okay. Let's see if it's left. Hmm. I can't listen anymore. Give it another second. So what do we have? We have the old key. Old key for somewhere. Hmm. It was hidden in the doll's house. Hmm. Let's try it. Okay. Playroom, study. Study, we've been in those rooms, right? That was where we got the... Attic key, attic is clear. Ensuite toilets, back of the master bedroom. Is that the balcony that I'm looking at, right? Yeah, okay, that goes back through into the house. Back balcony is nothing, that's the attic room. Maybe the kids' room? Maybe that room where we heard them before? Now that we've done the doll's house? Maybe that is now clear? Where they killed Sophie? Maybe that's... Where to go next? That's the one room we haven't been in, right? But it's not locked. Next floor, kitchen, dining room. Front porch. 
These were all open, I think. Hmm. Maybe some stuff's changed, though. Maybe, like, the scary door is there now. Now that the door is opened where Daniel was, maybe we go back to the study downstairs, and now the door will be there. I think that might be it. I think we might have just cracked it. Yes. Okay, so how do I get down? Go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, through here. Let's do it. for a door and we've opened all the doors then I feel like the door has reappeared good night Ashley have an amazing weekend okay things might be about to get scary hold on to go down hold on to your butts Oh my god, they're actually in all the rooms that they were in. This is awful. This is terrible, dude. Ugh. Bound, enslaved to its desire. Maybe I have to go to all of the rooms and collect the pieces of paper. So the next one would be in the uh, kitchen. Waiting. Uh, cooking. So that was the one in the bath. That's the one waiting to be fed. Alright, to the kitchen. Oh my god, that camera angle. Oh, that's awful. Kitchen. Don't need to listen. Okay, is it in here cooking? Not in here cooking, though. There it is in the corner. That is bloody awful. Ah. Help us make it. Pull us through. Okay, so where was the other one? Uh, in the library, right? One in the library. I thought it was the upstairs library, though. On the doll's house. I wonder if it's just in the library. Across from the living room. And then the one in the room that we actually want to go through. Right? So we go through here. Ah! Whiz. Ah, I'm gonna drop my croissant! Catwoman coming in with the curses. Look at, its, look at its spindly hand reaching out for the plague. It's an evil in the chat. Thank you so much. Okay, go this way. Being so careful now. Thank you so much. Um, wait, where am I? Okay. Over to the library. little is this is it in here reading ah! Jesus what was that now you did it Lena you were totally locker the jumps are so scary okay this is the library Dude, I thought this was going to be, like, spooky fun and not terrifying. This is just a full-on horror stream. Okay, I was not prepared. Okay, it's safe. 
So it's got to be that little reading thing upstairs, yeah. I don't know if I need them all, but it, I think I feel like it makes sense if we have like all the bits of paper, right? Study, maybe. What was in here? That was a bedroom back there. Bam, 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 bam. Moldy floor, moldy floor, terrible sign, a moldy floor. Handprints on the floor, something being dragged that way. Let's not go that way. Oh, there it is, lovely. Working from home be like. Toss the dark one in the fire. Ooh. Toss the dark one in the fire. Okay, so this seems like it was a pretty important clue. Aid us, save us, we are doomed, bound in slave to its desire. Help us to make it pull us through. Toss the dark one in the fire. Hmm. Now, the dark doll is going to be in the room that we were going to go to with the key. But I wonder if it means the one that's in the doll's house. Like, take it out of the doll's house. Hmm. It's right here, so we can check. Ba -ba hey, I'm so brainy. lady's just like, man, these kids really went all out for Halloween, huh? Some interactive escape room-ish. F-bombs. I know, I'm pretty good with the F-bombs. I guess after a year of just not doing it and playing Animal Crossing every day, it's become like second nature not to. I don't even like really have to stop myself too much. I have always kind of mixed it up, though. Even before Animal Crossing, I would say like fluff and stuff instead. But like in my just like general everyday life, I do swear. Um, so now, go in here. This is where the fire is. Swear like a bloody sailor. And toss this in here. If we trust these things, I feel like we should. Bye. I'm relieved now after burning that that horrible thing. You know, I feel like maybe if I didn't do that when I go into this next room, it was going to be there waiting for me and kill me. That's what I think. And now this feels like. Oh look, it's gone. The dolls have gone. Yes! They it's back. Where did that door come from? Where he was. 
Oh man, you're gonna make me walk down here. Why can't it just be a cutscene? I don't want to be in control of this. This is terrible. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. What did I get myself into this time? Ooh, this is oh. very spooky. Huh? 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 Hi, Papito. Where have I gone now? I can't read it. Hi, Papito. Huh? Papa? Did he hang himself? Fuck. Oh, now I said it. God damn it. <laughs> I, I knew as soon as I said, oh yeah, it's fine. I don't know whether I was going to see something that made me say it. Okay. Pachamama Santa Tierra. Where am I? Who is that? Is that Daniel? Can't move my torch up to see. She moves funny. This is like a prison down here or something. Monks and stuff? What is this? <gasps> I use me. It's him. Help! I need help! They finally found me. Nice, dude. I was feverish, dehydrated, and terrified. But alive. I don't remember much about the ride to the hospital, but I did mumble a few questions about the music box. I had heard it. The endless, grim song it played wouldn't stop hammering in my brain. I would even swear I'd seen it there on the table, on the other side of the mirror. No, no, impossible. There was no box. It was just a hallucination. A mirage. Mirage. Oh, rest. That was all. Just rest. Time for your sponge bath. 